Welcome to Little TV and we have finally the Samsung Galaxy Alpha here. I got it a few days ago, but now it's finally time to unbox it. I've been using it for a little while, but I totally forgot to make a video about what's inside and to compare it with a few other smartphones that are here on the table, like the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. So we have here the Alpha, quite beautiful little device. We have here, of course, inside an octa-core processor with 1.8 GHz and 1.3 GHz. And so 4 and 4 means 8. And then we have a 4.7 inch screen with 720p display resolution, so about the same as an Apple iPhone, which has 1334 times something weird um, going on, 752 or something like that in pixels. Then we have also a beautiful 12 megapixel camera on the back, which shoots even Ultra HD videos, and a 2.1 megapixel camera on the front, which shoots Full HD videos also if you want. Um, still a heart rate sensor inside, it's a metal case like the Note 4 has, so it's a little bit better than I would say the S5, not in terms of the, the display, but otherwise it's really quite nice. Um, we have 2 gigs of RAM as far as I remember, and the battery is 1860 mAh, which is alright for the size, could be bigger, but at least it's interchangeable. And there's also 32 gigs of internal memory that you cannot exchange, that's a little bit sad. Um, and 4G. Fingerprint sensor for better security, GPS, and so on, and so on, and so on. So let's just see what the device looks like again um, and take a look what's inside the box. So here we have the smartphone. I already put in the battery so we can move on a little bit faster in a second when we look at the device itself. Otherwise, we have here something to read inside. Not so special, so I will just put that to the side. I know how to use a smartphone, so I don't need that right now. Then we have here some earbuds. Um, for our headset that's of course also inside here, the regular um, EG900WBW, uh, so um, three buttons, one button for answering your phone calls and two buttons for volume up and down, flat band cable, quite nice, then your micro USB cable in white, not that special, but also here a quite nice little charger, which has 1.55 amps at 5 volts, so you can charge your battery in about 1 hour and 20 minutes, but I would say leave it on for 2 hours um, because it charges a little bit slowly, uh, slower at the end to make the battery last longer. Alright, so, smartphone, let's open up the back to show you guys the battery. Right here, so there is the 1860 battery with the SIM card slot right above it. Um, NFC is also built in and then you have here the camera and everything, no micro SD card there. If you put it back on you will also notice there is no speaker here in the back, it's on the bottom right next to the, um, actually these are the speakers right next to the micro USB and the microphone. On this side you have here the on and off switch, on the other side you have here the volume rocker and then on the top you have the 3.5mm headphone jack and another microphone. On the back, again, the camera, which is sticking out a little bit. Don't like that that much, but that's how we, what we have to live with. And also here a little flash and your um, heart rate sensor. The fingerprint reader is right here on the start button, which you can just slide your finger over and it will recognize your fingerprint. Um, sometimes, it didn't work for me that often, but for me it doesn't never work on the iPhone. So yeah, that's, I guess, just me. So we have here the on and off switch or the... the home switch with which one you can unlock it afterwards and then we can just go here to the camera quite quickly and show you guys for example the front camera um, where we can see now my Panasonic GH4 shooting here uh, there we go a sharp picture of itself or of my smartphone and we can also say let's rotate the screen somewhere I think up here nope those were the settings here we go so this is the back camera, also quite good looking, uh, really good for selfies of course, but the other camera also. And again, shoots really nice videos also, you can check out a low light and regular light um, video with the back camera on my YouTube channel, so just look for Galaxy Alpha videos right here on the side or in my channel. So enough about the smartphone, we'll talk about that more in our review. Let's compare it with, for example, the Note 4, which is of course a lot bigger, with a 5.7 inch screen. And then here it's about the same thickness and the back is of course also about the same with removable back covers with this um, rubberish feeling. Then we have a Nokia Lumia here the 830 again also about the same price 
metal casing, really beautiful device, shoots also amazing videos and pictures and you should definitely check that phone also out. This costs about um, 450 right now, this is 300 so about the same price as I said. I think the same price around the G3 by LG, again also here beautiful device, not that much bigger but 5.5 inch screen, um, not that much thicker and it's made out of metal but um, yeah, the, the resolution is four times as high, not only two times, four times with a 2K display here the LG G3 available for about 400 bucks at least in Germany. So we have here the HSC One M8, you probably guessed that. One of my favorites, also metal everywhere, especially the back. But even this way they managed to make the um, uh, put a micro SD card slot inside, which is quite nice. And even infrared on the top. Again, also about the same price. And now one really interesting device that you will see a review also on my channel about is the HTC Desire Eye. Amazing 30 megapixel camera on the front with dual flash, uh, 5 inch screen, full HD, everything. So, really awesome here. The back also, um, again, here micro SD and everything built in. And it's even waterproof, but it's completely made out of plastic. 3 to 4, actually, no, it's also about 500 400 bucks. So, especially, so about the same price as the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. Hope you like my little unboxing video with some comparisons. I know there were no, no iPhones this time in the video, but they are coming up and actually we already did the iPhone comparisons here in my YouTube channel. Um, so just look for Galaxy Alpha videos. So till next time, peace and again. Thank you much for watching. This was the Alpha and there is coming up more of course. Just please subscribe.